Hi, my name is Bill here at PowerStrokeHelp.com. Today we are going to talk about cylinder head identification on the 6 liter to make sure that you select the correct cylinder heads for your truck. This is very important when you're ordering the big dog cylinder heads from us. This is a sheet straight out of the Ford book to help you correctly identify cylinder heads. I've copied this sheet and I can email a copy of this sheet to you if you send me an email at PowerStrokeHelp at bellsouth.net okay real simple tree here you know you need a head okay whatever engine you got and the three main things that they're searching for in this is the injector hold down bolt what size is it rocker arm carrier mounting bolts and then cylinder head casting number now I, I used to start with the casting numbers because usually with a casting number we can get where we need to go real quick and then it boils down to what they call a pre-commonized head and a commonized head. Now once you look at this sheet, I'm going to start with the back side first. Let's start with the casting numbers because the casting number is really the most important part. All of your 080 C1 through C4s are all compatible. They use the same rocker boxes, you use the same uh, injector hold downs and whatnot. Where it starts to get sticky is when we start to deal with the 20 millimeter heads, which is the 613 C1s. Now all of the 20, both of the 20 millimeter heads can be used on an 18 millimeter block with this step down. This step down comes with the head gaskets from Ford because they know that there's a bunch of different heads on a bunch of different blocks. You can actually use this same step down to put an 18 millimeter head on a 20 millimeter block. I've seen it done lots. You have the same part numbers over here but the commonized one actually has different hold downs and a different rocker box and this is where this gets sticky it's the same part number but you have to look at them to see if you have the ones that are like the 18 millimeters or if you have the later model one pretty much you didn't see this till about 2000 late 2006 and into 2007 and then Ford continued to make vans all the way up until 2011 with the commonized motor with the, with that cylinder head okay we got two cylinder heads here one is the pre-commonized and this is what they call commonized so we're going to work through this here first of all your casting number is right here okay this is an 18 millimeter c3 head this one a 613 c1 is a 20 millimeter head is designated by the size of the hole on the dowel pin so you see the step down on we're on the large side of the step down this is a 20 millimeter head on the pre-commonized head what we're looking for is the size of the holes that line up the rocker carrier the part that sits on top here that actually holds the rockers notice that this one's small and has all the bolts drilled the later model one is much bigger okay and only has a couple of them drilled so if you have a dowel pin that lines up on this spot on your rocker carrier it makes it difficult to use this now if you look real close you can see that someone did use one of the early early rocker carriers on this head before we rebuilt it you can see the wear pattern in there and you know a lot of this has been done but it's obvious that the rockers weren't lined up correctly so we really want to work hard to make sure that we get you the correct head that is either commonized or pre-commonized sometimes folks in these shops have to do what they had to do to get the work out but it would have been a lot better if they had the correct cylinder head the other difference is the hold downs for the injectors. Notice that the one has 45 and the other one's a 40. They're very different. The, the correct way to use a commonized head, the later model 20 millimeter head, on a early model motor, you're going to have to change the hold downs and the rocker carriers to make it work correctly. So to recap, all of your cylinder heads that have the last five digits, 080, C1, 2, 3, 4, they all interchange. Some of the 613C1s with 20 millimeter heads can be adapted with the step down adapter to working on a pre commonized head. But in order to do that, the 613 head has to have the bolt hole here, and it's got to be the smaller bolt hole, not the larger one. Anytime you go and you put a rocker carrier on here that doesn't belong, you run the risk of not lining up the rocker arms correctly when you torque down the heads and possible premature rocker arm failure. It's very important to get these part numbers and types of cylinder heads correct so that we can ship you the correct type of cylinder head.